Hey guys, today I'm going to look over just about every cheap or free animation app on iOS devices. I hope this video helps you with your animation journey, so let's get started. So this here is Digicel Flip Pad, which is the portable version of Digicel Flip Book. This was the first animation app for iOS and iPad OS that I used. I first heard of Digicel Flip Book from my college instructor when I was talking about Eric Goldberg. They said Eric Goldberg loves Digicel Flip Book, so... I thought I'd look into it. I was under the impression that Digicel Flipbook was an iPad app. Soon enough I found out that Flipbook was actually a desktop app. The app for desktop cost $99. Pretty cheap, but not as useful as OpenTunes. However, luckily there was an iPad version of the app called Digicel Flippad. As you can see, one of the pre-installed projects comes with a page from Preston Blair's Cartoon Animation, a book I'll probably review in the future. The free version basically comes with what you need to get started. When you get the pro version, you get to use 10 layers as opposed to 2. You can use up to a thousand frames. And you can use 16 million different colors. When I was still starting out, I heard about Rough Animator. The whole idea sounded interesting, so I decided to invest in it. This app is primarily for rough animation, so it doesn't have a lot of brushes. But why would you need them if you're doing rough animation? The transform tools are also really nice to control as well. You can easily make cycle animations with it. You can edit multiple frames like one drawing so that all of them have the same thing drawn onto them.
The app recently got the ability to do shift and trace, also known as out of pegs. I'll admit though, the ability to re-edit the shift and trace onion skins is more convenient than in Toon Squid. Flip a Clip is one of the most talked about animation naps I know of. Students at the college I went to talked about it, people online talk about it, and now I'm talking about it to see if it's worth the hype. So this app is basically a digital flipbook that has the essential tools to help you get started. The main features are free, but the plus version is a subscription version of the app. Why do so many tools have to be subscription based? Why can't they be a one time payment purchase like Toon Squid? Motion book. What more can I say? It's basically a watered down, more affordable flip a clip. More affordable as in you only pay $5 to get everything. Procreate Pocket, the iPhone version of Procreate. I might review Procreate before Procreate Dreams comes out. Pretty much the same as Procreate, but cheaper. Has the most basic animation setup, with the main strength being the brushes. iArtBook, imagine Procreate, but with more competent animation tools for indie productions. Each frame lets you have multiple layers, which is especially useful for having a rough layer, a cleanup layer, and a color layer. The pro version removes the ads, but the money could help develop the app further. Storyboard animator, mainly used for storyboards, but can be adjusted for animation. Then again, it's pretty hard to use, so yeah. Flip Studio, yet yeah, another flip -a clip clone, except this one has a cheaper premium membership. Animation Creator Express, basically motion book, but with a simpler look and aesthetic similar to Adobe Animate. There's an iPad version called the Animation Creator Express HD. Costs $2 more than the iPhone version.
Flipkit, basically a version of Flip Equip with Apple Notes as tools and no subscription for a premium version. Animation Maker Kids. If you have a kid who wants to make cartoons, this is the app to start them with. Probably the most fun cheap option. Animation Desk. An expensive app that you can try out for free. The user interface is made to look like an animation disc. The free version is enough to get you started, but the subscription features are already available in ToonSquid for a $10 payment. Ibis Paint X. Like Procreate, it's mainly a drawing program with animation features tacked on. Piscart Animator. Feels fresh with its green colors. Good free option for beginners. Folioscope, yet yeah, another flipbook app, but this one has a community it wants you to join in. Doesn't have a traditional frame rate adjuster, just a speed up button. Anime Maker, such a simple app, but it can't make game like you see on TV. Probably the cheapest subscription. Like Folioscope, it has a community that wants you to join. Animation Sketch. Has multi-layer frames like iArtBook, but each layer is for the layout, the rough animation, and the line art and color. Stick Nodes. No drawing in this one, you just control a rigged stick figure. Like those in early YouTube animations in the mid-2000s. Doesn't even have motion tweening. Sick man. Great for starting out. Just keep your money for a better animation app. Cartoon animation. I have no idea why this app has two different names, or why its font reminds me of Spongebob. It's a free app. But seems better for straight ahead animation. Stickman Animation. As you can see, I did this part of the review on my iPad. As a frame viewer, like Flip a Clip and Animation Creator. Like Cartoon Animation, it's better for straight ahead than pose to pose. It has the most expensive subscription tier at $35 a year. That's highway robbery. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.